Getting started with your new Cloud Sites account is very simple and only takes a few minutes. Let's go through the process of adding a new domain to Cloud Sites. The first thing you need to do is get logged into your control panel. And once logged in, go ahead and click on the hosting button and then on Cloud Sites. This is going to take us into the overview page that lists all the domains that we have on our Cloud Sites account. As you can see, I already have one here called moso-test.com. Let's go ahead and go through the process of adding an entirely new site. So if you scroll down to the bottom section, it says uh, add a new website. We'll go ahead and type in the domain name here. We'll just call this cloudsitesdemo.com. And under the site owner, make sure you choose you. Unless you're adding this domain under a client account, uh, choose you, which is the administrative user. And we'll click add new site. The first option you're going to see here is uh, the option to register the domain. If it's already registered, there will be a box that says, I own this domain already. You just check that box and then it'll forward you to the next step and you can once again go in there and uh, you know, point your uh, name servers over to uh, the Cloud Sites platform. So for the purpose of this demo, we'll just uh, set up this domain without registering and click next step. On this page here, it's going to ask you to select a hosting plan. Uh, the important thing to note on this page is if you're adding a new domain under the administrative user, it does not matter which of these plans you choose because your domain is not limited to the features uh, or um, uh, storage bandwidth compute cycle limitations that are shown in these plans here. This is only if you're adding this to a client account. So it doesn't matter if you choose basic or advanced. Uh, we'll just choose advanced for the purpose of this demo. And you can even choose to just park the domain if you have some a uh, lot of domains that you're not doing anything with currently. On the next page, it's going to ask you to enable uh, any additional features. Uh, if this was a uh, Microsoft or classic ASP or .NET application that we were running and we needed a Microsoft SQL database, we can enable this uh, function here. There are some additional licensing costs involved with Microsoft SQL, uh, so we'll leave that off for now. And then under MySQL, which is of course free, uh, you can choose to uh, disable uh, database support altogether. Uh, assign the domain a limited number of databases or give it unlimited. So we'll just choose unlimited. And then on the bottom, the very last section is choosing what default technology you want to use. So if it's primarily a Linux, uh, PHP, uh, MySQL based application, uh, you'll choose that as your default uh, platform. If it's ASP or .NET based, uh, you'll choose Windows. So we'll just leave it Linux and PHP 5. And the very last page here is just kind of a review and overview of everything that you chose. Make sure everything looks correct. Um, the subtotal function over here, once again, only deals with client accounts. Uh, so if this domain is being added under the administrative user and you don't have any registration costs, of course, the cost is going to be zero. Um, so we'll just come down here and choose next step. And what's going to happen next is it's going to provision your site out across the entire Cloud Sites platform as well as building its own dedicated file system. It only takes about, about a minute or so in most cases. And we'll go ahead and pull up a timer as well just to see exactly how long this one takes here. And then once the domain finishes provisioning, I will take you through all the actual um, domain specific administrative functions so you can see everything that you can do in the, inside the Cloud Sites control panel. There we go, about 26 seconds. That's all it took to provision uh, this new site across the entire Cloud Sites platform. Uh, it's already up and running, and now we can go through some of the administrative functions, uh, as well as if you have uh, data that you need to FTP up, you can do that immediately. So let's take a look at this. So we're on the general settings tab for uh, the cloudsitesdemo.com domain. First thing you'll notice is a general breakdown of all your account usage in terms of storage, bandwidth, compute cycles, so on and so forth. Um, these values here are near real time, so you can see um, you know, in a few minutes intervals uh, exactly how much uh, resources this particular domain is, is utilizing. Uh, this button here, the view web statistics, uh, each and every domain that we have on Cloud Sites, we assign it a full dedicated urchin profile, uh, which is great for all your uh, statistical and analytical purposes. Um, uh, it's a great value add. Uh, if you scroll down here just a little bit, you'll see the direct URL to the domain as well as the testing URL, which is internal. So if you're still running your site live elsewhere uh, or if the site is still in development, you can actually hit this URL right here, uh, which takes you to an internal testing page only uh, while you either test the site or while you're in the middle of a migration. So that's a great uh, tool to have there as well. All your FTP information is listed as well as your FTP username, uh, your FTP path, and then your password as well, which you can choose to show if, uh, if you don't know that off the top of your head. And then some more general kind of usage statistics down here on the very bottom. The next tab over is the domain tab. 
Uh, on this page here, this will show you um, your actual name server addresses. If the domain is registered uh, through our backend registrar, you will have the ability to uh, renew it in here as well as, as uh, see exactly when it expires. Uh, DNS management, you have full control over all your DNS records, so any um, customization that you need to do can be done within a few clicks right here as well as setting your custom MX records if you're running mail on an outside platform, for example, like a, an exchange mail platform through our sister company, MailTrust. Uh, you can simply uh, update your MX records with the um, uh, particular paths, and it's uh, just that simple. The next tab over is security. If you need to install an SSL certificate on your website, it can be done with a few clicks, and as well as adding uh, multiple FTP users. So if you have some people that uh, do some website maintenance, uh, a webmaster, and you don't want to give them full access to the account, you can create a specific FTP user for that user, um, for that person, and then you can lock them down to a particular path if you need to. Then under email accounts, a uh, few clicks to get email accounts added as well as aliases. Another great uh, value add and thing to note about email on the Cloud Sites platform is we give you unlimited access uh, at no additional cost to um, the noteworthy email platform, which is developed by our sister company, uh, MailTrust. It's a great, um, very high-end uh, business class email platform, uh, and it does cost um, a particular set fee per mailbox if you were to go direct through uh, Rackspace or MailTrust. And here um, on Cloud Sites, we give you unlimited access to uh, one gig noteworthy boxes, so a great value add there as well. You have a very robust webmail interface in addition to that, which is accessed uh, at webmail.yourdomain.com, and then as well as some other email settings here. You can also set global uh, domain-wide uh, spam filtering and spam handling uh, methods here within the control panel, and then individual users can get uh, more granular uh, on a per-user basis through their webmail control panel. And the last feature, or the last tab that we have here is the Features tab. This is where you'll log in to either create uh, Microsoft SQL or MySQL databases right through the control panel. You can also completely change the default technology for your website or enable additional technologies such as uh, Perl Python or ASP and .NET um, functionality cross-platform, which is a great tool, especially if you have uh, uh, some older legacy pages that you haven't been able to update uh, to one full uh, particular technology. Uh, you also have the ability to uh, schedule and create cron jobs, and then uh, we list out some of your server-side paths here on the bottom. Uh, but that's pretty much it for uh, setting up a new domain on Cloud Sites. As you can see, it uh, only takes a few steps and a few minutes to get going. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to call your support team at any time. We are here for you 24-7.